Every new season of Fortnite, we get a new battle pass. And most of these are pretty good. But which is the best of them all? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. So starting off the list, we have Chapter 2, Season 3. This one is probably the weakest battle pass we have ever gotten. There was not many memorable skins in this one. You have, like, Aquaman, Kit, and that's really about it. I can't think of any. Fade was okay. And then each, uh, the Tier 100 was just a female version of the Ultimate Knight skin. So, all in all, this battle pass was not the greatest, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it was bad. It's just there are so many other ones that are so much better than this one. So that's why this is coming in as the worst battle pass on the list. So after Chapter 2 Season 3, we have the original battle pass of Chapter 1 Season 2. Now although this battle pass was the first one, that doesn't mean it gets a slide, because this battle pass is one of the worst ones, because there's only four skins in it, and two of the skins were pretty much reskins of each other. And the only good thing about this battle pass was the Black Knight skin. And and that and that's it. So that's why it is one of the weaker battle passes. Because there's only one good skin. So next is chapter one, season eight. This is an interesting one. The skins in it are pretty good, but the skins that are bad are really bad. For for example, Sidewinder, terrible. The, and, and the main problem this one is the tier 100, Lux. She is such a terrible tier 100. And she's, she's not a bad skin. She's not a good tier 100, though. But other than that, you had some pretty good skins like Blackheart. Peely was pretty fun. Uh, Ember was pretty neat as well. Master Key was just kind of eh. But yeah, that that's about it. So this next battle pass is the one that we actually have while I'm filming this. This is, this is again, an interesting one, because you have some good skins like Stormfarer, Adira, Malik's okay, but there are also some ones that are very weak, in my opinion. Eevee, not the greatest. Uh, Indiana Jones is just, he's okay, I guess. And Sabina, in my opinion, the worst one in the battle pass, but... There are some good ones that save it from being absolutely terrible. So, that's good. That's why this one is coming up next. We're, st we're starting to get into the good battle passes. The last few ones were the bad ones. Now we're getting into the good ones. So up next is Chapter 1, Season 6. This one is pretty good. You have p good skins in it, like Calamity, Dusk, Fable, Dire... All of the skins are good. I can't think of a bad one in this battle pass. But that's that's the only problem with this one. The skins are pretty good. There's no great skins or, like, amazing. They're all just decent, which isn't terrible. It's, it's, it's good that there's no bad skins, but there's no outstanding skins. So that's why this one's next. So next is going to be Chapter 1, Season 5. This one is really good. You have, like, some of the most iconic skins in this one, like Drift. I mean, Drift is one of, like, the most popular skins. You have skins like Sunstrider, Ragnarok. All This is just a very good one. The worst one's probably Sledgehammer. He is just for, very forgettable. Also, the, uh, the, <laughs> the second skin, I, that's how forgettable it is. The name escapes me. Huntress. I think it's Huntress. Very forgettable. Very. That... Her and Sledgehammer are like on the same level of bad. They are just really not good. But, like, you have Rook really good. So, we're, start, we're starting to get there with the really good battle passes. Next is going to be Chapter 1, Season 3. This one, again, really good. The only complaint I have is that the three astronaut skins are a little bit too similar to each other. 
But that's about it. Rust Lord, really good. Elite Agent, really good. The Reaper, slash John Wick is tier 100, really good. And, I mean, if it came out now, it probably wouldn't be good, but for the time, this was a really good one. So next is going to be Chapter 2, Season 1. This one, I really like this one. You got 8-Ball, Ripley, Fusion, I mean, even Journey and Turk, probably the weakest ones are still pretty good. Uh, Remedy is really good. And on top of that, they all have their alter egos, which make them much better. And then you got the overtime challenges with them. These skins were just really well done, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite battle passes. But they're, they're not all amazing, like I said. Turk and um, Journey kind kind of just okay, but they're still pretty good, all in all. So next is Chapter 1, Season 4. This one is really good. Uh, you got skins like Zoe, uh, Carbide, Omega, you, you know, the superhero skins pretty much. Carbide and Omega, in, in my opinion, are by far the best in this battle pass. But that doesn't mean that the other ones are bad. The only bad ones, I would say, are the two male skins. They're just f very forgettable compared to Omega and Carbide. And all the other skins. Alright, so next is going to be Chapter 2, Season 8. Again, really good one. You got skins like Torin, Kor, Tuna Fish. But uh, the only really bad... Bad skin, I would say, in this one is uh, Chimpansky. He's just kind of weird, but he's not good. But, I'm, I mean, you got Fabio, you have Charlotte, which was pretty good. So, I mean, all these skins are really good except for Chimpansky. So that's why this one is next. So next is Chapter 1, Season X, or Season 10. This one, re a really good one. Um, the only issue with it is none of the skins are original. They're just, like, remakes of old skins. But without taking that into consideration, it's really good. The weakest one, I would say, is probably Tota Technique. But all the other ones are just really good. Like, Catalyst, Eternal Voyager, Ultimate Knight is okay. But, uh, I mean, other than that, really good battle pass here. Alright, so up next we have Chapter 1, Season 7. This one, again, really good battle pass. It's a Christmas slash winter themed battle pass. Really good. You had some good skins in it, like Zenith, Link, Sergeant Winter. Uh, the worst one in this one was probably the Ski Snowboarding Girl. I have completely forgot her name. But And also T100, really good. Ice King. One of, in my opinion, one of the best tier 100 skins we've ever gotten. So that's why that's why this one's so high up, because it's just really good. Okay, next is going to be Chapter 1, Season 9. This one, I, this was a really good one. Uh, Sentinel, really good. Rocks, really good. Demi, really good. Uh, most of the skins are good. The worst one, I would say, is Vega. But even she, she's not terrible. Uh, Vendetta is... In a pretty good tier 100, but definitely not one of the best ones. But pretty, still pretty decent. Bunker Jonesy was just kind of... It was a funny skin, but it's not like a good skin. So, yeah. Alright, so next is going to be Chapter 2, Season 6. This one, again, really good one. Agent Jonesy, really good. Uh... Raz was pretty good. Raven was pretty good. Um, Laura Croft, she being added to Fortnite was pretty cool. Um, the worst one was probably Cluck. He was just kind of a weird one. Uh, Spire Assassin also was not a really good tier 100 skin. But um, it was definitely not the worst one that we've ever gotten. But... 
That doesn't necessarily mean it was a good one. But all in all, this battle pass was really good. I like this one a lot. And uh, uh, on a side note, <laughs> the trailer for this season was one one of my favorites. This is such a good one because it tells an, a story in the trailer. Like most trailers are just to like, you know, show off some of the skins. But this one, this was a really good one. Introducing us to the foundation and seeing all of the collab skins from the previous season was just really cool to see in this trailer. Alright, so next is going to be Chapter 2, Season 7. This was a very good one. Um, Gugamon, really good. Sloan, really good. Sunny, really good. Uh, Zig, really good. Like, I can't think of any skins that were bad. Uh, I know I said Zig was really good, but he was probably the worst one. Like I said before, that doesn't mean that they're bad. That just means that the other ones are just better. Um... Yeah, uh, Rick as tier 100, really cool to see him be added to Fortnite. That is not a collab I ever expected. And having Superman as the extra skin was also really cool to see. So, yeah. Alright, so next is going to be Chapter 3, Season 2. This one, pretty good one. Um... All, all the skins were really good. Um, like, Origin. R he was probably my favorite. Really liked him a lot. The Doctor Strange as Tier 100 was a little bit weird. But I, I, I do like him. But making him Tier 100 is probably not the right call. I would have made Origin Tier 100. That might be me being biased. Because he was my favorite Battle Pass skin. But, uh... Yeah, and other than that, I mean, Arisa was pretty good. Uh, probably the best anime skin that we've gotten. Um, or Imagined was pretty good. Gunner was pretty good. Uh, yeah. Oh, and Prowler. He was really cool, too. Uh, yeah. Okay, next is going to be Chapter 2, Season 4. This one, really good one. Uh, I would understand why you might not like it if you don't care for Marvel characters at all. But as someone who does like Marvel characters, this was a really good one. Uh, Doctor Doom, Thor, Storm, Mystique, and then Iron Man is tier 100. Really good battle pass. Um, my only problem with it is a battle pass shouldn't mainly rely on collab skins for it to be good. That's why this is lower. If If it wasn't all collab skins... And there were just a few Marvel characters in there. It would probably be number one. But I don't think that a battle pass should be completely collab skins. Like if they would have made Iron Man tier 100s probably would have been a, a better one. Just mix them. Mix, mix and match pretty much. So next is going to be chapter 3 season 1. This one was just outstanding. Really good one here. Um, Gumbo... Foundation, Spider-Man, obviously. Just a very, very good battle pass. The worst one is probably Haven, but even she's good, because you can have all the mask customization. Uh, Ronan and Shanta weren't amazing, but they they were pretty good, though. So this, this, is, this is one of the better battle passes, in my opinion. This was just a very well-made one. And, I mean, you had Spider-Man in it. I mean, that's obviously going to give it, like, ten extra points. I mean, come on, it's Spider-Man. So next is going to be Chapter 2, Season 5. This one was amazing. Very good. All the skins were great in it. Um, the worst one is probably Reese. But she, even she, she was a really good one. Um, Mandalorian is Tier 1. This fantastic. Tier 100 was interesting, though. Instead of a skin for Tier 100, you had a back blink, which was the child, or Baby Yoda, which was which was interesting, but the Tier 100 skin pretty much would have been Menace. Again, really good one. My favorite in this battle pass was probably Man Cake. R just really good battle pass. This is just, like, outstanding, really. Lexa, like, I think Lexa was the first anime skin we ever got. 
So that was pretty interesting. Um, just all in all, really good battle pass. So, up next is number one. I mean, you can probably guess what it is. And of course, the best battle pass, in my opinion, is Chapter 2, Season 2. Amazing battle pass. That, that's all I have to say about it, really. Not a single bad skin, and all the skins in it were amazing. Um, Meow Soul, Sky, Midas, TNT, and Brutus. Really good. You could customize Maya. She was the first customizable battle pass skin. And that was just really big for the time that that came out. Um, and then also, you have the Ghost and Shadow Edit styles, which would completely change the skin. And you got to choose which side you could be on, so not everyone's going to have the same skin, which is really cool. So, this one was just amazing. 10 out of 10. In my opinion, the best battle pass we have ever gotten. Alright, that's it. That's my list. So, keep in mind, those were all my opinions. Some of you might think Chapter 2 Season 3 was the greatest battle pass that we've ever had. Some people might think Chapter 2 Season 2 was the worst battle pass we've ever had. But, that that was, that was my list. Um... As you can see, this is a new type of video on the channel. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Uh, I'll probably do more like this. Not necessarily ranking videos, but just more videos that I spent time on that aren't just live streams or gameplay videos. So, yeah, that's it.